so George, I saw your appearance on The View. It was a great honor to, to see you on The View. I think you're one of the best guests. You were so honest. They asked you about the Japan parade and you started talking about uh, being a gay man and you knew you were young, you were a gay man. And you talked about your friend's uh, butt crack that you could see and you bent over to play marbles. And I thought, this is the greatest television. Oh, here is a gay man talking about when he discovered he was gay. And they shut you up. They shut you right down. Were you offended by this on The View? No, because I was a guest and they're the boss. And we had, a, actually, we didn't have a conversation. I thought that's, that's what it was going to be, a, a conversation, right. a give and take. But they all shut up and they just grinned at me and... I feel a void. There was a void. So I kept on talking and talking, and, and I was running out of things to talk about. So I introduced uh, my childhood uh, when I was uh, discovering that I was different in ways other than just I my Japanese it. face. <laughs> I loved it. Uh, but here, let's revisit it. This is uh, George Takei on The View, sharing intimate thoughts. When I turned nine and... 10 and 11, I sensed that I was different from the others. Bobby Correll had the sweetest smile. <laughs> or Richard Montana uh, was very athletic. <laughs> and, and his mother didn't uh, buy new clothes for him. <laughs> oh, I, I grew up in East LA, uh, all Mexican American barrio. And when uh, uh, Richard Montana hunkered down to play marbles. His tight T-shirt oh. went up, and his tight pant jeans crept down, <laughs> and I saw a little bit of the small of his back. Okay. It was very exciting. So I grew up knowing I was different. Right, right. <laughs> you know, I love that story, but you could see that uh, Joy got very uptight. Uh, right? Uh, she, right, right. Brad, you were upset. He was there to support the Japan Parade. He was invited by the government of Japan, the Consul yes. General Ambassador of New York. And so he starts talking about butt cracks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> butt cleavage. Have you two considered going into couples therapy? So can... That's what we're doing right now. You're not kidding. This is it. What about it? I have to disagree with uh, Brad. I, I believe that that appearance was truthful. It was, um, it was certainly interesting. I liked hearing about Richard Montana's ass crack, and I thought it was fabulous. I but did. He I was did. cute. But Howard, yes, it was a, he it, was. It was a lousy plug for the Japan. Pan parade. That's <laughs> well, that's true.